This episode of Science Max Experiments at Large is all about light and bending light to your will. Huh? Huh? Right? Right? And challenges me to an ever more tricky game of light manipulation. Plus lasers, periscopes, and what does that have to do with light? Cut to animation! Find out on Science Max Experiments at Large. Back to our light challenge. I've seen something small from far away, seen around corners, but now Anne has turned off the lights. But I have a solution. Phil? Is that you? Yeah. Do you need the flashlight? I don't. Turn, turn it off. I can totally make my way over to you. Oh. I can hear you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm right here. Oh. Right here. Hi. Because I have night vision goggles. Ooh, ch check it out. Oh, cool. Pretty cool, right? That's awesome. So here's the spectrum again, and here's visible light. My night vision goggles use infrared, this part of the spectrum here with wavelengths just a little bit longer than the red we can see. Outside of the visible light spectrum. All right, I would say that's allowed. No visible light, and I will see the next ball. Have you got it set up? Uh, I set it up while you were out. Okay, good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit in the chair and, and see if I can see it. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, I can totally see everything. Can you tell me what the ball says? It says, it says you win. Nicely done. <laughs> so let's recap. This challenge is the same as the last challenge. The light from the ball was magnified by the lens, sent around a corner by reflecting it off a mirror, and flipped back around by using another mirror. But this time, it's dark. So, using infrared light, thanks to my night vision goggles, I was able to see the ball and win the game. The light manipulation challenge is done. Science Max experiments at large. Time to turn the lights back yep, on. Yep, yeah. absolutely. Huh.